Hello there, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Further to this, welcome to the last of the Nostalgia Chick Trilogy. Yes, I'm tired of ragging on Lindsay Ellis's reviews. She has given so much more than she took. But anyway, let's get to today's subject. Labyrinth. <laughs> Released in 1986, Labyrinth is the tale of a teenage girl's struggle to rescue her baby brother from the clutches of the Goblin King. Notable not least for the puppetry, but also for David Bowie's arch performance as Goblin King Jareth, and the screen debut of Jennifer Connelly. Now before we get to the movie itself, I feel I should give my reason for deciding to review this film. The truth is, if I ever had seen Labyrinth, it really made no effect on me, so I decided to watch it with a fresh pair of eyes. And now, so can you! So grab your compass and follow the walls as we navigate Labyrinth! We open to a young girl reciting the speech of a play. This is Sarah, played by a very young Jennifer Connelly. I can never remember that line. You have no power over me. But oh dear. She lost track of time. I don't believe it, it's 7 o'clock! Cue a very 80s montage as he rushes home in the rain. Oh, really? Sarah protests her lot before storming off to her room. About I you. can't do anything right, can I? Our heroine, ladies and gentlemen. A petulant teenager. <laughs> We're all doomed. Enraged that her baby stepbrother stole her favourite teddy bear, she beseeches the Goblin King to take him. Goblin King! Goblin King! Wherever you may be, take this child of mine far away from me! Now, I had asked the Goblin King for an audience, but my scryers have received no reply. Yes, I have scryers. Don't you have scryers? I thought everybody had scryers. I thought that was a big thing this year. Scryers! But you should always be careful what you wish for. I didn't mean it. Oh, you didn't. Please. Luckily for her, the Goblin King offers a challenge. If Sarah can navigate the Goblin Labyrinth in under 13 hours, the wee Rugrat shall be returned safe, alive, and unharmed. Doesn't look that hard. Famous last words, my dear. Famous last words. And so our heroine navigates the maze. Incredibly helpful. But don't go that way. If she'd have kept on going down that way, she'd have gone straight to that castle. Despite its confusing nature. <laughs> Your mother is a friend in Argyle! You can't ask us, you can only ask one of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and deadly trickery. <laughs> With the help of Redoubtable. I'm a coward, and Jerith scares me double-dealing guide, Hoggle. If she ever kisses you, I'll turn you into a prince. Y you will? Prince of the land of stench! Giant furry beast, Ludo. Friend. That's right, Ludo. And after an almost disastrous wrong turn... <laughs> sheepdog riding fox knight, Sir Didymus. Think Don Quixote, filtered through a veil of Disney. But then our heroine receives a very special gift from the Goblin King himself. Everything's dancing. Gareth sends her a sweet dream. <laughs> but as midnight chimes, Sarah awakens. And while our poor heroine's forgotten her quest, she meets a collector of treasures she does remember. But a moment with her script puts her back on the right path. Take back the child that you have stolen. Huh? I have to save Toby! <laughs> our heroes are reunited and just in time. And so, our heroes navigate the Goblin City and reach the centre. Oh my my my. Would indeed that twere so easy. But no, my friends, 
The goblins are having none of it and launch an attack. <laughs> Sarah still has to contend with Gareth. I have to face him alone. But what? Because that's the way it's done. He's right, you know. There's a protocol to final boss encounters. And when faced with the Goblin King... Everything I've done, I've done for you. Sarah remembers the speech from the play and declares... You have no power over me. And so our movie ends with baby Toby back in his bed. And Sarah having learned... Anyway, enough of this. Denouement! Should you need us? I need you, Huggle. So that was Labyrinth. And you know something? I'm gonna put this into the House of Love. I feel that the storyline is rather thin, not really stretching beyond its length in any serious fashion. And the power of friendship motif really begins to grate. Not to say that this is a bad film, per se, because Henson's puppet wizardry and Ryan Froud's visual flair more than make up for the plot, and Connolly and Bowie's performances lend weight to these characters. Hoggle is fascinatingly wrinkled, Ludo is lovably grisly, and Didymus, well I've yet to see Disney do Don Quixote, so I haven't seen Furrier. If you're looking for enlightenment, look elsewhere. But if you're looking for a rip-roaring rollercoaster ride with a feisty, forceful female protagonist, I recommend Jim Henson and George Lucas's Labyrinth. So thanks for watching, and I promise I'll try and put out a longer episode next week. Join me then for more fun and frolics. So long, folks. Bye. Dispensing product.